So many people coming the other way towards us. Everybody's lost. There we are, in the middle of the desert. Completely lost. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to episode 12 of our Race to Dakar 2020 series with Team Races to Places. Another day, another beast. <laughs> yeah. Ready to lead out? Yeah. Gonna feel like one of those rabbits, you know, on the greyhound track. They let out and all the dogs have to chase down. That's me. Looking forward to it. Alright guys, going for a plot. Fresh out of bed, on to another day. And uh, it gets tough sometimes, and especially these early mornings. And you're feeling a little tired, but then you got to remember, you're riding dirt bikes. Mauritania, and it puts a big smile on your face and you get ready to go. Emergency flare. That's it, three in one. All three flares that you need in one little dinky size. Hopefully we'll be needing that. We're gonna have the biggest dune day we've seen so far. Um, Wind's starting to whip up here, and looks like we might be starting in the dark, but uh, should be interesting. Matt's uh, leading off the stage, so we'll see how he does. Good luck, Matt. I got this. You got this. Hold my beer. <laughs> just to stop the blisters. Try, try and ease up on the blisters. Navigate, navigate, navigate. That's what we need to do. See you guys. See you dudes, have a good one. Thanks, brother. once again so I uh, forget unless the other day I'm gonna take it easy and uh, if and when I get caught I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll try and stay on someone's tail and let them do the navigation but I'll give it my all
so many people coming the other way towards us. Everybody's lost. So here we are, in the middle of the desert, completely lost. <laughs> This is a long, tough stage. I'd rather suck farts out of dead seagulls and go through more of them red sand dunes. If you're thinking about getting into rally, don't. Stay in school, kids. Ugh. Okay, Lyndon, so it's the end of the first proper big stage in Mauritania. Uh, some uh, eventful riding today. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a very complicated stage for many reasons. Um, started out with some really difficult navigation and that saw the front, all of us front runners just completely lost. Like, we stopped and we said, yeah, we're lost. Um, but we just kept pushing on on the cap heading. We managed to find our way. Uh, found the right piece, but we missed the waypoint. Uh, and I stopped another rider, checked his GPS and seen, yeah, we've missed a waypoint. So I went back for the waypoint, managed to get it, got back on, was really aggravated. And then I had some fuel pump problems. It seems like the front fuel pump is playing up on my bike. So I just uh, struggled onto the fuel stop. And when I got to the fuel stop, I was surprised to see how many people had gone through. But uh, we're here and overall uh, damage limitation, I think, <laughs> today, just get to the end. and. Yeah, it was a difficult stage, definitely the first real rally stage. <laughs> yeah. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away For it sinks in And you dream about This very night When the moon runs down The summer sky Could it be the morning Of the spring When the sea runs dry Thank you. 
like going back when nothing seemed to be a drag. You ran until your legs gave way, then you cried and got back up again. And it's real to think that I could fly across a broken bridge in the fading light. Never thought ahead of my two feet. Never had a care in the world you see. Have you heard from the sky all about it? Down the river, high tide flows around it. Through the whispers of pines, I hear them sing. The more you love, the more you live. Hello. How are you going today then, Mick? It's been a long day. Spent about three hours looking for money. <laughs> Nobody changed any money. And we ran out, we'd run out of money to buy diesel, so. All sorted. It's not easy, Jess. It's not easy. Never, ever, 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 ever come here for a holiday. Unless you want to murder someone, like yourself, <laughs> or your own mentality. That was tough, man. That was a tough, tough day. Good that boy is the hero right there, dude. Oh, good, buddy. Okay, so here we are, stage seven. Just got back to the bivouac. Uh, all the riders are back safe. A uh, little bit of little bit of uh, confusion out on the stage because there was a there were some modifications in the road book last night, uh, which we tried to follow. But it seems the modification didn't, wasn't quite right. So literally 95% of the field went wrong. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it just it just it meant that I did 30 kilometers off the road off the road book before I managed to find my way find a waypoint and continue so I lost a ton of time uh, and so did lots of other people so I wasn't the only one to lose all that time uh, but we're just trying to figure out what's right to do really because uh, the guy that won the stage he didn't have the modifications in his road book so it kind of points to well if you didn't have the modifications you made a better stage so it's a bit frustrating uh, but what we're going to do is just going to put a formal Formal protest in, formal request for the organisation to take a look at it. Um, it's nothing major, we're all here safe, that's the main thing, no crash bikes or anything. So we just need to get that timing and everything sorted out. That's it. Dakar. Exactly, get to Dakar. No. You're on it, are you? Well, yeah, I look go ahead like. and get my stuff done while you're at it, alright? Suck it, Johnson. Suck it, Johnson, Johnson. Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> Hey, Matt, get my stuff down while you're at it. Go stick your f***ed up, your Johnson, get your own frickin' bag. <laughs> that one better make it count. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Matt. Seriously. You need your bag down? Will you get my stuff down? Only if you uh, don't penalise me for rally comp opening waypoints in Sonora. Can do. Oh, get your own freaking bag. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I won't need it anyway. Fine, I'll get your bag. Which one is it? Is yours a pink one, right? It was like that, and they changed it to straight. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then they added 5281. Clearly, which is only like 
point four, 400 meters after that bend, yeah. which actually was still in the road, that bend, yeah. that they took out, it says turn right onto 23. Okay. If you didn't have that, you'd have carried on on Cap Zero, exactly. which is that road. What, why do I have to open the stage that has that? Well, I asked them to add that thing just to screw you over. Yeah, today's stage, let's just talk a little bit about the stage itself. It was awesome, the terrain was just incredible. In the sand dunes, there's all these sand dunes, you could just like jump off them and double them and everything. And occasionally there was like this soft sand that you had to like rail it, you know, like make a berm. It was just, it was just so much, so much fun. You're a liar. <laughs> it's horrible. He's lying. He's lying. He hated it too. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but it was fun. Yeah, I got to the end of the stage though, and uh, I was done, eh? I was like, ooh, my hands were finished, and my forearms, and my shoulders, and it was a tough stage. Definitely a legitimate rally stage today. Yeah, so Linden's had a challenging day today, um, challenging conditions, so we've got the usual full check over. Uh, oil change and filters tonight, um, air filter also, it's been very, very sandy, so no doubt it'll have a new one, but we'll check it. Um, more importantly, Linden's had a bit of an issue earlier in the day, well all day actually, with um, what we think may be a faulty fuel pump, or, or maybe a, a filtration problem or something to that effect, um, so it needs investigating sooner rather than later case we have any major problems and we need any parts that we haven't got but I think we're covered with everything and uh, we'll have a look and, and see what we find. Hi guys, it's Ant from uh, Team LPR, Race to Dakar. Uh, just wanted to give a uh, quick word. Uh, long day today for us. We were up at six this morning because our token Aussie Matt won the stage yesterday, so he was off at the crack of dawn this morning. So we were all up at six. It's now just a little gone after one. So it's been a 19 hour day for us. We had a uh, almost a 700k drive. Uh, so right, the riders beat us to the pits today. They, uh, theirs was a couple hundred k less. Uh, we just got finished working on the bikes. Uh, if you can see them behind me, we're out of light really, but. Uh, Bikes are all locked up, ready for tomorrow, ready to do it again. Uh, we're in Mauritania at the minute. Uh, a couple, two, three more days here, and then we head over to Senegal and uh, towards the finish line in Lac Rose in Dakar. Uh, hopefully so far, all, bike, all five bikes are still in it. All five bikes are running great. The bikes have held up fantastically. We've had a few spills, a few bent bits here and there. Uh, we had a fella crash on diesel, Greg crashed on diesel a couple of days ago. Uh, no harm, no foul there, this bike's still running great. Uh, so yeah, hopefully when we get all five of these to the finish line, that's the goal. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm